Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Worship Gunner 2 on Werner's Path. Last time we created this beautiful battleship, uh, but I forgot to put some anti-sub weapons on it. So now I have the Azrox, and what did I get rid of to make room for the Azrox? Well, I got rid of the whopping two 280mm ADS guns that I had, because it's like, meh, I don't need those. So, those are gone, and now we have Azrox. I have six launchers, I have two on the front here. Two on the port and starboard side next to our bridge. And someone pointed out that there is actually a fancier looking bridge than the one I chose to use here. And I forgot about that bridge. So I'm kind of tempted to try and put it on. Because it is a cool bridge. And it would fit the crazy modern theme a whole lot better. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and it does have purge. So we can get rid of that. We can try to... Move those somewhere. Searchlights, uh, whoops, we'll just get rid of those. Let's take off the bridge, and then let's go to structures. I don't know if I actually have the fancy bridge. It's the US uh, bridge beta, I think it is, right? I don't think I have it, come to think of it. All right, fine. We'll just undo a bunch of that stuff, like so. What else did I do? Oh, nope, that's what I want. Okay, let's stop there. Uh, I guess we're gonna go look at R&D real quick. Also, I do want to do, I'll mention this for anyone who didn't read the comments thread on the last video, I do want to do the special missions on EL2. We covered them, we covered the EL1 versions of them in the Brown playthrough, but we didn't cover the EL2 versions, which have different, well, it's a different enemy layout, and different rewards. Uh, so, yeah. We're, uh, we're gonna do that, but I've uh, decided to do them as, like, mid-series bonus episodes, so as not to detract from... Uh, so as not to detract from the... There it is. Uh, the Werner's story path too much. So they'll be, like, just bonus videos. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, they'll play a part in the Let's Play, of course, because we're gonna get parts and things from them that will... Um, be using in the main let's play so they'll be important to the whole thing if you want to see all the content but uh, they won't um, they won't uh, basically get in the way of the they won't get in the way of I'm trying to talk and work at the same time here of the Warner's path uh, missions they'll just they'll just kind of supplement those and give us more more fun toys to play with namely the one that I'm excited about and the one that I'm really want to go for is the gigantic battle carrier hull because uh, it's it's absolutely amazing um, I've only used it like once a long time ago I mean a long time ago way back when but I think it's the same as like the gigantic I don't think it's called that but the gigantic battle carrier from the other games as well that is a really cool bridge I gotta say I like that a lot Nope, not systems. We want structures. We want searchlights. There we go. Loud car outside. Go figure. All right, let's see. Put my searchlights back on. Oh, fine. Have it your way. There. That, I think, looks cooler. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like the way that is looking right there. And then I can even kind of do this to fix this situation here. There we go. That looks pretty slick. I do like that modern hull. And we're keeping the aft bridge on there just because of the extra command and radar and sonar and all that goodness. So let's let's let the camera pan around here. Actually, no, we don't have to because we're about to hop into the next mission with this ship. Stormbreaker. And we're going to get a whole good view of it as we go through the mission here. That looks pretty sweet. I like that. <laughs> It's a little strange having the Japanese aft bridge stuck on there as well, but, you know, I like functionality, so. That's, and I feel like I'm overkilling these subs, but I have the ammo to do it, so. I really hope I'm not going to end up skipping dialogue out of habit here. Because uh, I just, I mean, in every game I play, I just skip through dialogue. Unless it's a game I'm playing for the first time, like uh, the new Pokemon games. But, which I'm only just getting caught up on, because I just got a 2DS XL, and I never had a 3DS. And this is like, 
well, I mean, at the point I'm getting that now, they don't, <laughs> I don't think they're making any more games for the 3DS, at least not Pokemon games, so a little behind, but anyways, yeah, I digress. That's, new games are the, like the only time I don't skip dialogue, but every other time, it's just, it's just such a habit. Whoa, buttons, I'm messing up the buttons. I'm gonna be heading this way. That's what I wanted. I wanted to do that. Where's my railgun at? Let's see. Uh, what am I looking at over there? Oh, that's the friendly sub. Oh my gosh. These submarines are not dying by three as rocks, or at least some of them aren't. I know I could use the particle gun, but I really want to get around with the railgun. Aha! Oh gosh, that. Okay, no, that's too slow. Even for me. I'm patient, but I'm not that patient. So either not all the Azrocs are hitting, or these subs are way stronger than I think they are. That railgun looks sweet tilted at an angle like that. I like it. Man, this recording setup is so much better for uh, PS2 stuff. I, I almost... Oh, if it wasn't such a massive time commitment, I would almost redo a lot of our PS2 Let's Plays just so they can be in better quality and I don't have to worry about all the glitchiness that we did with Hoppage and... But it would just take forever. I hope... We don't fail if it sinks now. We probably will. So I need to get over there. Uh, let's just send like a thousand Azrocks that way. It's probably a good rule of to, thumb to use there. Jeez, German submarine, you're dying fast. Okay, particle gun time. Let's go for the battleship real quick here. There we go. Now he's sunk. Which means they'll all stop. And I got some more guys to my right. This is not the most effective ship in the world. But it is cool. I'm hoping I can draw their fire away from the friendly sub. Because I'm pretty sure if it sinks now, they'll still fail the mission. Which will suck. We don't want that. Kind of just doing really big circles right now. So what I find interesting about this particle gun is that it does actually seem like it matters where it hits on the enemy ship, because some of these destroyers are going down in like two shots, and just uh, even if they aren't going down in you know blank number of shots, they're they're taking a pretty inconsistent damage. You know, like some take a lot of damage, sometimes they don't take hardly any damage. I don't know. So, I, I guess it matters where the missile, or where the particle beam hits, but, um, you know, you don't exactly have control over that. I see a parts crate. I want it. I want to reverse for it. No, oh, come after my chaff. Okay, machine gun's got him. Sweet. Alright, let's grab this. There's a funds crate there. Honestly, I mean... I don't need funds anymore. Never thought I'd see the day when I'm just seeing a funds crate and going, nah, I'm good. <laughs> All right, treasures, I'm not gonna worry too much about. We got a lot of the EL2 treasures on the Brown playthrough, so I don't think there's a whole lot to worry about with that here. And um, yeah, I really hope I'm not skipping a whole bunch of dialogue on accident and like not even noticing. That is the purpose of the of this series, anyways. Right, after all, Sill Laser 1, Crab Laser... <sighs> oh, there's that. Electronic Positioning System 2. Mm, cool, I guess. Question mark.
And now we have brown on our side. Huzzah. Story dump. Yay. And that appears to be it for that, so let's speed that up. There we go. <clears throat> oh, there's more. And we're done with that one. Oh, story stuff. Lots and lots and lots and lots of story stuff. Let's save it a game. Let's save it a game over data one. Uh, we got about five minutes left in the episode. Problem is, um, time is, uh, well, time's the thing <laughs> that we gotta be mindful of here. Uh, this is not a five minute mission. No, and it won't be you know, a three or four minute mission by the time all the other story exposition is done. 
Hmm. Yay, Werner is officially an adjutant for us. Which he already kind of knew he was going to be, but you know. He's very enthusiastic. I mean, lucky enough that I want to play on this uh, story path, so I saved you in the first mission. <laughs> Come to think of it, I honestly don't remember if Warner is in any of the other paths. I, I don't remember. It's been so long since I played this now. I feel like he is. I feel like he shows up at other points, just not quite so early. I don't know. I'm forgetting. Yeah, this ain't exactly a short mission. It's not a terribly long mission, but it's not quite, you know, short. Because no matter what I do, I gotta wait for those cargo ships to get to their destination. Which will probably take at least five minutes. At least. Like, good, you know, best case scenario. Actually, any scenario, because they always move at the same speed no matter what happens. So I don't, I don't even know how slow that is. I would guess five minutes, though. At least. Man, oh man, oh man. Okay, well, I guess I can take a moment to talk about the special missions. So if we go down here to the bottom of the list, you have 700 through 760. Now, we did all of these on the first playthrough. Uh, well, on our second playthrough, but technically we had to do them on EL1 first, so now we can go back and do them on EL2. A little confusing, I know, but... These are basically just kind of like joke missions, but they give you some awesome, awesome rewards. So, I want to cover these um, as we go through the game because they are, you know, loaded with that good loot that I want to use during the playthrough. But again, I won't take an episode out of what would be a Werner story mission. Um, so, we'll, we'll basically, on some days, uh, maybe a few times a week, we'll have an extra video up. Um, that is one or two of these missions in that video um, until we get through all of them. So there are seven missions in total. If we do like two per video, the bonus videos, by the way, I can't guarantee how long or short they'll be. Um, you know, we might do three bonus videos where we go two and then two and then three, or we might do four bonus videos where we go two, 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 and one. I don't know they're not going to follow the 20-minute format as strictly. I still don't want them to be insanely long because I have come to realize that I myself prefer watching 20-ish minute videos over 30. I think the uh, the extra 10 can make it a little harder to watch in one sitting. So um, they won't be crazy long, but they won't follow the 20-minute rule quite as strictly. So that's the plan for the special missions. Just to clarify... And with that explanation, that does bring us to about 20 minutes. So, thank you very much for watching this episode of Worship Winter 2 on Werner's Path. I hope you have enjoyed, and as always, I hope to see you all in the next video.